Hello, good morning. It's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of European markets from an intermarket analysis perspective. As always, this is Tuesday, 29th of March 2016. Okay, so we're back from our Easter break, and um, the markets are, are flush with liquidity again, and uh, certainly trading uh, or resuming some sort of normality. Okay, Asian markets overnight generally were, uh, with the exception of the Hang Seng. We're generally negative. You have the Shanghai down 1.2%. You have the Nikkei down 0, more or less flat, basically 0.8%. Obviously, the, the main uh, weakness was uh, seen in the uh, Chinese markets. Be sure to visit uh, tra www.tradesignal.com and download the latest app by CFDs.com. Okay, now uh, let's try and uh, assess as to uh, the uh, fundamental news flow. Uh, overnight, uh, we in terms of economic data that was market moving. The focus really remained on Japan, and the Japanese data that came out overnight wasn't exactly overwhelming. Uh, we had uh, retail sales, and that certainly came out weaker from Japan overnight, and that certainly has put pressure on the Nikkei to a large extent. Uh, and obviously the Chinese markets too. Okay, now in terms of consumer confidence numbers this morning out of uh, Italy certainly came out slightly stronger. Business confidence more or less flat. The money supply data is certainly coming out very shortly. We have Mr. Williams speaking shortly too with regards to the dollar. Obviously we have Yellen later on. Industrial production from uh, Canada, Red Book, uh, and mainly it's uh, US centric data. Obviously uh, the weekly crude oil stock supply certainly will be uh, important as well. Uh, and uh, Miss Yellen's speech as well. So all eyes on Miss Yellen and uh, how the markets react to uh, her speech. Now, in terms of uh, Miss Yellen, let's look at the US dollar index first and foremost. Let's try and uh, interpret that, especially given the fact that yesterday's uh, US data certainly was on the dovey side, even though um, the uh, terrorism concerns failed. I didn't expect the terrorism co related concerns to uh, trigger a risk aversion rally, and that obviously didn't uh, transpire. Now, the daily chart, as you can see here, the US dollar index certainly has lower lows and lower highs. Now, Miss Yellen certainly sent the dollar index down quite substantially ever since. The uh, US data certainly hasn't supported that to a well to an overwhelming uh, uh, level, uh, even given the fact that uh, we've had alternative uh, Fed members argue for a rate hike. Although yesterday's data, from the way, the way in which we initially, uh, the way in which I read the market, was certainly uh, dovish. Uh, and certainly uh, negative in terms of the dollar. And uh, we had uh, inflation and consumer spending after the report. The uh, of, I mean, this is the main um, article here. US core PCE rose 1.7% compared to 1.8, so therefore dovish, bearish for the dollar. Uh, that was accompanied by personal spending, one tick above at 0.2% versus a 0.1. But that bullish news was certainly offset by the revision lower for, uh, to 0.1% from 0.5% the previous reading. So. Overall, net net was dovish, so therefore weaker for the dollar, and that obviously uh, uh, fails to uh, provide a lift in inflation and obviously consumer spending. So they are the two key areas. Although home sales certainly data yesterday was certainly uh, arguing, one could argue to the uh, to the bullish side, and certainly indicate a, a move higher there. Okay, so that's the situation that we find ourselves in with regards to the dollar index. Now it's it's up to Miss Yellen, obviously, either to talk the dollar down, which Given the fact that she did that last time, it's going to be interesting. Give, uh, maybe she uh, certainly was uh, over-correcting uh, or basically uh, tilted too much towards the uh, hawkish side. And that's why, obviously, uh, so we say a dovey side. And that's why we had this substantial sell-off in the dollar index. So for now, it's all about uh, previous support equals resistance. And you, we are back in that zone. So therefore, you are in that bearish zone. And therefore, you are looking for dollar weakness. That's one of the reasons why I'm long the Aussie and Kiwi at the moment. And I have a bullish bias and equities to a large extent. So, yes, you do have the uncertainty. Yes, you do have the Shanghai down quite substantially overnight. But the market, from my perspective, will uh, focus more on the dollar index. Okay. Having said that, let's look at the chart of oil. Because obviously we all know that oil is uh, an important variable in this market at this current juncture. Given the fact that uh, it's very sensitive to the price of oil as it indicates inflation. A 60-minute chart on oil is certainly into support, and therefore one would presume that you are looking at support for the uh, European equities as well to a large extent. Okay, In terms of economic data for the European equities, there's nothing really important other than the fact that uh, obviously we've had the Shanghai down 1.3%. Now that certainly has been factored in now in terms of the European markets. Let's bring on the European markets for you. Uh, you can see that we certainly had a thrust off this uh, pivot support level at uh, uh, 2990. We've certainly pushed higher. 
We are retracing backwards now, although you do have the bullish engulfing candle in control and you are looking for a potential move higher. That's my expectations going forward. Now bear with me whilst I uh, just take this Euro stocks trade. Okay, on the live analysis service, which I uh, post, obviously I post my trades. Uh, each time I enter, I exit, I certainly share them and I post them on the live analysis service so that individuals can see my uh, trade setups and uh, certainly can trade alongside in real time. So uh, I've got a long euro stocks at 3008. Okay, stop loss at 2976, looking for 3038 target on the upside. Okay, so that's basically what I'm looking for here in terms of the uh, euro stocks. So certainly looking for a move higher. Okay, now let's bring up the uh, euro stocks first of all. Uh, the 60 minute chart has a bullish setup given the fact that uh, you have this uh, a bull flag formation so you're just consolidating here and then looking to potentially thrust higher that's my interpretation thus far the 10 minute chart does have an unfilled gap above and that target will uh, that will be the target 3040 uh, with regards to the unfilled gap now having said that on the on the downside you still you do have a an unfilled gap below so it will be the battle of the gap but from my perspective given the fact that the markets have ignored the weak asian session overnight and the weak us session as well certainly pushed higher up to that 3020 level you can uh, get a continuation there. So again, unfilled gap below certainly needs a powerful catalyst, okay, in order to propel it uh, lower. Now the um, uh, daily chart of the euro stocks before we uh, move on to the next potential variable uh, is uh, currently obviously holding that gap fill support. So again, watch out for that zone. Although you do have you have broken this uh, rising contracting wedge pattern. So again, certainly some food for thought. German DAX, okay, so let's have a look at the German DAX. So it's German DAX certainly had broken out this downtrend. Obviously, you had this fall, falling, contracting wedge type pattern, okay. Uh, you do have the unfilled gap below. Obviously, the market has failed to close that, even with the Shanghai down minus 1.3%, and certainly the bulls holding uh, holding steady here. You have an unfilled gap above at 10 0 20, so that certainly seems to be the potential target at this juncture. So all eyes on that potential gap, taking the pivot low, on the 10 minute chart, you can see that we are now potentially into support and looking for a potential break higher. 60 minute chart of the uh, DAX, we certainly are trading sideways. Obviously, you have that support level below at 9750, which we've already established. Okay, daily chart has this uh, bullish channel, so we're certainly in the, within that channel holding the lower channel support. And therefore, one would argue that you are looking for potential gap fill support, which is at 10 to 20, 10 to 100. So keep, keep an eye on that gap fill uh, in terms of the German DAX. OK, now let's uh, just, uh, move on to the French CAC now. French CAC obviously is holding that so gap fill support. 60 minute chart of the French CAC certainly is oscillating in this region, oscillating in this region. You have an unfilled gap above that certainly needs to close. You can certainly clear that, clearly see that on the 10 minute chart. So let me allow me to just... Uh, brush up here and certainly attempt to explain here you have the unfilled gap below okay as we all know and then you have the unfilled gap above so it's all about battle of the gaps and which gap will potentially close first on the french cat now given the fact that asian markets are certainly factored in now bearish us markets as well you are looking at potential support and propulsion higher from here okay FTSE 100 let's have a look at a daily chart obviously we have this break of this rising contracting wedge so therefore, from that perspective, it certainly remains weak. 60-minute chart of the FTSE itself. Certainly, we hit a pivot high just now at 6160 before we retrace back very, very sharply. So we certainly seem to be holding that 50% Fib retracement. And that's mainly due to, obviously, China. Now, we are retracing here. Obviously, we thrusted higher, pushed higher. Now, we are retracing. And this will be a zone for a potential support. Although, having said that, you have gap fill support at 6106 as well. So that all eyes on that. In terms of the uh, potential next move, okay, that certainly seems to be the situation and the status quo in the uh, the actual uh, EU markets and the pivot resistance on the S and B's at twenty forty two. So certainly see if you can co coincide that resistance zone with the European markets. Okay, folks, I think that's a a market wrap uh, in terms of um, uh, CFDs trading. Be sure to visit CFDs.com. Uh, the specialist in spread betting and CFD brokerage. You earn up to two and a half thousand pound uh, bonus, so up to 25% on your initial cash deposit. And certainly visit the educational site www.cfds.education to certainly learn more. From my perspective, the European markets at this juncture certainly are into key 
uh, support zones, a dollar certainly is into a, re a uh, resistance zone, and uh, you should get a dollar down, uh, equity markets higher, uh, and uh, the uh, inflation trade certainly is back. Okay, goodbye now.